Maya Hawke is most recognized for playing Robin Buckley on Stranger Things. Her performance as a witty high school student and her friendship with Steve made her an instant favorite amongst viewers, as well as being the show's first openly gay character. It is widely known that she is the daughter of famous actors Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, but that is just one of many interesting facts about the actress. Here are 10 additional facts about Maya Hawke that you probably didn't know. She made her acting debut in A Little Women miniseries. There have been many productions of Louis M. A. Alcott's classic novel Little Women in the past few years, most notably the 2019 Greta Gerwig film starring Saoirse Ronan. What fans of the book may not be aware of is the BBC miniseries from 2017. Hawk made her screen debut playing the lead character, Joe March, in the series. The series was well received, with many critics praising Hawk's performance. She dropped out of Jullyard to pursue acting. Early acting prowess allowed Hawk to be accepted to Juilliard, a renowned performing arts institution that has produced well-known alumni, including Viola Davis and Adam Driver. Hawk, on the other hand, did not graduate from the school and left early without a degree. As strange as it seems, she actually had to leave Juilliard for the sake of her acting career. She was cast in 2017's Little Women and couldn't fit it in with her studies, a choice that may have been the best decision she's ever made. Her Stranger Things character was rewritten for her. Although the character of Robin Buckley was highly received by Stranger Things viewers, the version Matt and Ross Duffer created before Season 3 didn't end up appearing on the show. In an interview with WWD, Hawk disclosed that the character was altered by the showrunner's siblings when they got to know her a little better. She said, I'm a super joyful, exuberant person, especially on set. I bring a lot of energy, maybe from nerves or something, but they kind of tapped into that and then started to write the character more along those lines. When she accepted the part, Hawk was told that Robin was a sarcastic and down-to-earth Madonna wannabe who nobody seemed to notice, but Robin slowly morphed into someone closer to Hawk's own personality. Interestingly, Robin's biggest character moment wasn't actually set in stone from the start. Speaking to Variety at the premiere of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Hawk revealed that she and the Duffers didn't decide that Robin should be a lesbian until they were around halfway through filming the season. She said, It was kind of a collaborative conversation, and I'm really, really happy with the way that it went. She has also worked as a model. Long before she graced our screens as Stranger Things likable Scoops Ahoy employee, Maya Hawk was gaining notoriety in the fashion world. In 2016, Elle reported that Hawk, then just 18 years old, made her modeling debut as the face of the British brand All Saints. She appeared in the company's spring, summer 2017 campaign and starred in the brand's short titled Far From Here, where she was seen running through Woodstock, New York countryside. Hawk even made quite the impression on All Saints creative director Will Beadle. The fashion visionary stated, Anyone who spends any time with Maya will tell you that she's smart, cool, and possesses an infectious enthusiasm for new ideas, the creative process, and life in general. She has been open about having dyslexia. Hawk has dyslexia, and it dramatically impacted her schooling as a child. She revealed to NPR that when she was a child, she was kicked out of school and ended up finishing her education at a school for children with learning difficulties. She said, It took me a long time to learn how to read, and I still am limited. However, she has managed to turn the difficulty into a positive. She explained that dyslexia helped offer her insight into other struggles in life and that it has made her all the more determined to succeed. She is also a musician. Hawk is not only fantastic in her role as the hilariously endearing Robin Buckley in Stranger Things, but she is also a talented musician. In 2019, she began pursuing a career in music. With the release of her first single to Love a Boy, Hawk's solo music proved she could hold her own in the world of singer-songwriter folk and rock. Her debut album Blush dropped in 2020, following the release of singles like By Myself and Generous Heart. Reviewers compared her style to the likes of Joni Mitchell and Taylor Swift, with Pitchfork praising her refreshingly thoughtful voice and emotionally incisive songwriting. Her second album, Moss, was released in September 2022. She said that the title Moss stems from the green blanket of memories and feelings she's accumulated over the past few years. She was almost Ariel in The Little Mermaid. A live-action remake of Disney's 1989 animated film The Little Mermaid is due to be released in 2023, starring Halle Bailey. Of course, Disney is just one version of the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, and another live-action adaptation was cancelled. Hawk was considered for the role in this darker adaptation compared to the Disney version. 
The film was due to be directed by Sofia Coppola with Hawk as Ariel, before Coppola was dropped as director and Universal wanted to make a film with a new director and Chloe Grace Moritz as lead, before ultimately being cancelled. She resisted becoming an actor. When your parents are Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, people automatically assume that you're also going to become an actor, but the Alice Celeb's firstborn was initially hesitant to follow in their footsteps. She told WWD, I resisted it a little bit because it was the family business, until I realized that it made me the most happy and that it was what I was the best at. At one stage she considered going to college to study English, but she ultimately decided that nothing could match the thrill she got from acting. I didn't like studying for my SAT, didn't like writing essays, but I felt so alive and capable in the theater at my school, and how do you say no to that? She's worked with her dad before. Although many acting families may choose to live out separate artistic endeavors, Hawk is happy to work with her fellow actor father, Ethan Hawk. The pair have collaborated on a new series, The Last Movie Stars, but not as actors. The documentary series is directed by Ethan Hawke and adapts a lost memoir from actor Paul Newman, with George Clooney playing Newman, as well as a host of other actors playing important people in the late actor's life. Meyer is an interviewee for the movie, helping bring interview transcripts of the star to life. She does not bother with online bullies. Fame comes with a lot of attention, sometimes wanted, other times, not so much. It is therefore not surprising that, more often than not, celebrities face vicious attacks from online trolls. And even though Maya Hawke has been around for far less longer than many in the industry, she has also had her fair share of negative social media attention. In 2020, she recounted reading negative comments about herself as a teenager. She told USA Today, I decided to read the comments and they were like, oh, too bad she doesn't look like her mom. God, they've got all that money and they're not going to fix her teeth. She needs a nose job. And I was 14. I hadn't gone through puberty. It was going to get better, but I didn't know that at the time. These days, Hawk is less than bothered about trolls and would rather focus her energy on acting, something she apparently does fantastically well.